Hello everybody and thank you for attending the talk. My name is Mohsen Oweda, I'm a researcher at ETH Zurich. Today I will talk to you about our research leveraging hardware accelerators to lower the latency of data pipelines. In interactive systems like recommender engines and search engines, the latency of a data pipeline is a critical metric. This is because it impacts significantly the overall experience of users. As a result, system architects try to exploit and perform different tasks to minimize the latency, such as merging different processing tasks at the same server, or even manually optimizing the code of a specific task to minimize its latency. The question we want to answer here, can hardware accelerators enable system architects address the rising complexity in such systems while and maintaining low latencies? We believe that certain tasks can be offloaded to hardware accelerators and enable system architects to explore architectures were not possible otherwise. I will show you this through a use case from the industry, specifically the flight and pricing engine from Amadeus. In this engine, we have three components. The domain explorer, which given a user query, enumerates all the flight routes between an origin and the destination. Then it uses a set of heuristics to filter them down to a few hundreds. Then the route selection stage will do further filtering used uh, decision three ensembles to find to try to find the cheapest flight routes and only produce a couple hundred routes for the pricing engine, which will calculate the prices for each route and present them to the user. In this engine, we are interested in the route scoring uh, task which is a compute intensive task and given the system setup, it can only process a few hundred routes where the allocated time budget. Our objective is to see if we can use hardware accelerators to enable it to process tens of thousands of routes and hopefully improving the findability of cheapest flights. Before digging further, let me show, explain briefly the inference over decision tree ensembles. A decision tree is a binary tree with decision nodes and leaf nodes. In a decision node, we assign a feature from the data tuple and a split value. The inference operation starts from the root node, where we do a comparison between the split value and the feature value, and we decide to go left or right. We iteratively apply this process until we reach a leaf node where the inference result is stored. In an ensemble with multiple trees, each tree is processed independently and then we sum up the results of all the individual trees. So it's clear that the inference operation of a single tree is a pointer chasing problem. There is not much parallelism in it to exploit. The only way to, to speed it is by minimizing the latency of the many random memory accesses involved. In addition, having many cores, we can process multiple trees and many trees in parallel. The problem comes when there is a large ensemble with hundreds of trees and large foot memory footprint, like a few hundred mega, giga, uh, kilobytes or a few megabytes. And here then the CPU architecture and, and cache hierarchy will suffer significantly and impact poorly the overall performance. On the other hand, the FVGA provides a lot of parallelism on chip that can be leveraged to process many trees at the same time. More importantly, it offers a lot of on-chip memory blocks that can be used independently and provide a lot of low latency random memory accesses. So let me show you how we leverage these features of the FPGA to address the complexity of the inference operation. In our core module, we have a compute unit that allocates many processing elements. Each processing element will process multiple trees in parallel. In, in, the B, in the processing element, we allocate separated data and tree memory to allow us to have many random memory accesses at low latency. Moreover, the data path in the processing element pipelines all the instruction in the node evaluation operation such that we have multiple trees active at the same time. All this contributes to a massive compute capacity on the FPGA, even when the FPGA is running at a much smaller frequency, like 10 times smaller than a typical CPU. 
In the overall engine, we allocate multiple of these compute units, each processing different flight routes independently, which means that we have even more parallelism to exploit and we speed up the process. We even can configure it to process different user queries in parallel uh, and speed the overall throughput. We evaluated this architecture using a GBM model it trained in H2O on historical data from Amadeus, and we looked into two metrics. The first one is the rate of scored routes per dollar, because we wanted to assess the cost savings in cloud services. The second metric we looked into is the rate of scored routes per second for an on-premise platform because we wanted to see what's the best device to choose for an on-premise installation. We ran the experiments in AWS cloud on a couple of platform and on-premise on another couple of platform. On the on the cloud, the results were quite interesting because we were able to process 16 times more flight routes per dollar compared to a CPU platform. On premise as well as on the cloud, we are able to achieve at minimum 40 times speed up compared to a CPU uh, implementation. Now, it's important to notice here that we, we needed to run on large uh, scoring request to exploit the over the, uh, the total of BGA throughput. This is because for a smaller request, the all communication overhead between the FBGA and the CPU will suffer and impact poorly the overall performance. This is important not to consider when architecting a system with an FBGA, because here we, this means that we need batching, enough batching to leverage the FBGA performance. Now, how this all plays out for a system architect who trying to figure out the right architecture? The first scenario could be that we replace all the route scoring servers with just a single FBGA server. Here, we reduce the uh, amount of uh, hardware resources used and the overall cost. But it could be an in more interesting to have a separate FBGA in each route selection server, where here we eliminate the network communication between route scoring and route selection. An even better architecture is to put an FVGA in each domain explorer server, where we will be able to process tens of thousands of flight routes, hopefully improving the findability of GBST flights. So from all of this, we can summarize the following points. Using hardware accelerators, we can unlock a new hardware architecture where not possible otherwise. And we were able to improve the overall performance and the quality of service to the user while at the same time reducing the overall cost of a user query. Thank you.